My name is Devin Fields and my college affinity is veteran suicide. Now before I begin with all this, I changed it from initially to helping veterans to suicidal veterans and trying to help them. Why I chose this topic is because suicide is a big problem in the military and uh, <laughs> some stats that I found is that 22 veterans commit suicide every day. That's one roughly every 65 minutes. And that kind of moved me a little bit because it's kind of sad. They put their lives on the line for us and they're just taking it. Um, the study was started during the Iraq and Afghanistan wars between 2001 and 2007. The rate of suicide in those years was greater in the first three years, and that was with both deployed and undeployed soldiers who had left the military or who had left the military after being discharged. Overall, each, there, each year, there are about 8,030 U.S. soldier deaths by suicide, which I think is just crazy. Uh, one of my contacts was a U.S. Marine who goes by the name of Wiz, and he runs a Snapchat account that helps veterans who are in need of a place to stay, uh, if they need help with marriages, or if they need a help with like suicide. And he posts their message their messages on his story and there's people that just contact them constantly just to help them and I was talking with him why he does it and he told me that he just wants to help his brother and sisters in arms there's also a big thing that he told me and that was that uh, Marines get a tattoo that says IGY6 which means I got your six or I got your back and I also asked him why some veterans kill themselves and some of the reasons he gave me were that they were getting away from the horror, the horrors that were embedded in their minds, like they cannot stop dreaming about their first time that they killed someone, or they were dreaming about like seeing a fallen squad mate die right in front of them, and they couldn't do anything about it. And I'm wanting to change that. My solution is starting a messaging system, kind of like a suicide hotline, that is only intended for just veterans. In and try to talk them out of the decision of doing that. <clears throat> I'm not wanting to limit the messaging system to just text messaging. I'm wanting to give it to uh, like Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, wherever, any other social medias that pop up. And I will start getting exposure with this by when I join the military, I'll be able to start getting it out there by writing it. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Alright, questions, thoughts for Devin? Um, I really like what you presented. It was very nice, very well organized. Um, what made you decide to do helping um, suicidal um, soldiers instead of just helping soldiers in general? Cause, because, like, we all know that these, that soldiers like are out there like homeless stuff like that. So why did you decide to just focus on the suicidal? Well, my main focus before I got into the whole suicide part was homeless veterans and like anybody that needed just help that was a veteran. And I changed it to suicidal veterans because I started talking to my resource and. He had led me toward more suicide because he said there's already a lot of people helping out homeless veterans and there's not as many with suicidal veterans, so I just wanted to help out that. I think with your hotline or whatever, like over social media, you should maybe have, think about like having soldiers with PTSD or like soldiers yeah. who have like thought of like maybe committing suicide from their traumas. That way like it's somebody who can relate because that's what somebody wants in that situation yeah. is like somebody who's relatable. So instead of just like someone who just works at a hotline that just like yeah. helps you to talk to or something. Yeah. Okay, I have two questions. So first of all, like that was really good. And second of all, um, well that was the first part was um, was this guy over Snapchat was he a former? He's in the military. He's currently yes. in the okay. So he's currently overseas or is he? He's deployed in Hawaii right now. Okay. So how is he, how is that impacting those soldiers personally while he's away? There's really, I don't really know. <laughs> okay. 
he just gets Snapchats constantly about like the finding places to live, and that's not just around like Hawaii, because that's just a Hawaii-based one. But he had like shown me the other military bases that are around the U.S. and he had gave me those Snapchat accounts. Okay. Which are not so like civilian accessible, but I'm friends with a lot of military people, so. So is he like aware, is he like accredited to be able to sit here and talk to these suicidal um, like heroes while he's currently still in the process and hasn't really been there? Or is he like, what is his credentials in that area? He's been like, he's been deployed mm -hmm. to Iraq a few times, and he came back. And so he had like seen his friend and stuff being killed. So he wanted to help out suicidal veterans and homeless people, and who just needed like a place to live. So does he does he have like formal training in that area? Yeah. Or just reach out yeah. Kind of I don't I don't remember his like exact job, but right. I just know he was just. That he has. Okay. Yeah. He wouldn't tell me a lot. Okay. So How did you uh, find his Snapchat? Is he like a famous dude? No. A few of my friends are in the Marines, and one just got back and came home. He, they had showed me his Snapchat as like a joke because there's some things on there that are like jokeable about, but there's also like things that people need help with. I was like leaning towards the no jokey side because I mean we played Xbox and that's how I kind of found it. And then I had seen all the like helping or people that needed help with like home homelessness or being depressed, the PTSD part, and there's like certain medical reasons that they put on there. Like if somebody I don't know, had something wrong with their lungs, there would be doctors on there that would contact them. It's just kind of like a middle man. Type so it's group. kind of like a network? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just run by one guy. Though. So, are you, do you want to end up doing what that guy um, is doing, like posting on Snapchat or something, or when you go, or is it more, are you going to go to the military and try and help those people face to face? I'll be doing a bit of both, because I'll still have training that I need to go through, but while I'm doing my training, I'll have the Snapchat running. But when I'm done with all that, I'll be, do, be able to do it face-to-face -face with the people that are on my base. But then if you do the Snapchat thing, will that make you kind of copying the other guy who is already No, there's doing that? plenty of other ones. I'm not trying to take his idea at all. I'm just trying to get it out there more. So what's going to make it different? He doesn't really do face-to-face. -face, okay. And I'm wanting to do face-to-face. Are you thinking about maybe starting a donation or something for to help um, um, people with 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 exposure to suicidal thoughts? I haven't really or, like, thought about that yet. Starting an awareness about it because not not a lot of people know that um, suicidal soldiers that how many there are, and I I believe that getting awareness out there could help your cause a lot more. Um, help you trying spread it and try to get people to know like, hey, this is a thing and we should try something to try and make the um, statistics of it a little bit less. I really thought about a donation system. I mean, Not there's really. one organization that I found that helps veterans, but it's like just talking to them and it's donating towards that so they can make it bigger, I guess. And the only thing I'd think it would make like t-shirts and bracelets and sell them at like school. I like what you're doing and I like I like the hands-on. So I think that's the most effective is when you can see them face to face and you can kind of understand a little bit more what's going on. Um, but and PTSD, as you know, is just a big, 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 big deal. And so maybe if you implemented a, a week where it's like PTSD awareness you could have like a little table set up in the lunchroom with like bracelets and t-shirts and backs and stuff just to kind of make them aware um, and then continue and pursue that when you join the military and when you serve our country um, just keep going and even a little small thing can make and save one life and that's still amazing so keep it up um, you know with that 
said, uh, Bridget, I like what you said, doing like almost like a military appreciation week at school. Mm -hmm. It makes me think actually that maybe you guys could almost team up, right? Mm -hmm. In the sense that, um, I mean, we have a week for everything. We just had like Riley Dance Marathon Week, right? We just, you know, FFA Week. We have like a week for everything. I actually think this could be kind of cool in the fact, and this is this is like so surface level and petty, but, and I'm, I'm like right at the top of the list, right? People love camo stuff, right? And it's cool to like support military things. Like, I mean, I have a lane that's, you know, U.S. Navy, right? Like, I got it from one of the recruiters who's here one day or whatever, but it's just kind of like, those things are very um, fashionable, if you want to like, use that term. So it kind of makes me think about, you know, why why not have, you know, your cause, Bridget, your thing with Kevin, or your your own thing, um, talk to talk to the recruiters that come here or whatever and like maybe put together something that's a little bit more of a formalized like, hey, let's celebrate America and our troops and whatever kind of I mean, I don't know. I, we say a week, but like it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. It could just be some kind of a event. I don't really know. But I mean that's one cause around here that like there are a lot of causes around here and that's one that A, I don't think has really been touched very much, right? And B, I think it's one that a lot of people, it's a highly conservative community too. I think a lot of people would be on board mm -hmm. and be on board with giving money, um, you know, paying attention to, I mean, I, I wrote down, down, maybe you ought to even get some mental health professionals on board with you, right? Um, and I'm just thinking about, I mean, even my friend like Dr. Bidet, who's here, he's a psychologist, you know, like I wonder if someone like that who does counseling, does therapy, like, would she be willing to donate, like, I don't know, two sessions a week, right? to a veteran, that type of thing. Um, so just trying to, I mean, Fishers has a mental health task force, right, through the, through the city, and what what things do they do specific to veterans, right? I mean, Bridget, remember how the doctor, or not Dr. Bridget, Deputy Mayor McGrath was talking yeah. about that program. Their program is, but I kind of looked into it, and their program is mostly just like, how can we help the families, not so much the heroes themselves. Right. And, Yes, helping the family does help the hero in a sense, but at the same time, it's not going to change the fact that like heroes go through this daily stuff and still have the after right. back to the middle. Right. Right. Huh. Just I yeah. think there's maybe yeah. some opportunities there that could be like really, really cool. Um, the other thing, Devin, you didn't really talk about, but I know it just as a teacher. I mean, obviously, like this is a school where we very much push college, 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 right? And there are a lot of kids who go straight into the armed forces, right? Mm -hmm. And not that, it, that is not necessarily frowned upon around here, but I also don't think it's like super celebrated either, right? Um, so maybe it may be an opportunity to kind of highlight that too, you know. Other thoughts for Devin? If you are thinking about starting to um, maybe spread awareness with the making like um, bracelets or shirts and stuff, my dad. He actually makes designs on t-shirts, so I can probably get you in touch with him and see if, they, if you can get something going with him to try and start something to spread awareness with during that week if it gets that if it gets that far. All right, thanks, Evan.